Hello. Today I'm going to show you how to package a file in InDesign. Packaging a file in InDesign is very important because InDesign does not automatically embed fonts and graphics, but instead it loads a JPEG preview of your images. In order to keep your links and fonts intact when you send an InDesign file, you must package it first. If you don't package your InDesign file before you send it, it probably won't print the way that you want it to. Packaging an InDesign file is really easy. All you have to do is go to File and Package. After you click Package, this screen is going to come up. Make sure that none of your links and images use the RGB color space. And so you can see I have one font that I used in my document that is displayed, and I have two links and images that are also both displayed here. So if everything looks like it's there, then you'll just click Package. So this will save everything in a folder. You'll notice that at the top where it says Save As, your file name has become what you had originally named your file with the word folder at the end. And then down here at the bottom, make sure the include IDML box is checked and the include PDF print box is checked. And then you'll click package and OK. And now once everything is packaged, you'll be able to go to that folder. And in your folder, you will have an InDesign document, an IDML document, a PDF, and another folder that contains all of your fonts, and another folder that contains all of your links and images. So if you were to email this packaged folder to somebody, they would have everything they need to make sure that the InDesign document you created is the InDesign document that they received. That is how you package a file in InDesign. Thank you for watching.